Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs and the weather is amazing. So I'm working outside and taking advantage of the beautiful temperatures and the sunny skies. I'm gonna be working on the chairs behind me. I've got lots of furniture all around me so I'm limited with space, but I have to strip all of these chairs and the table that's over there. It's a really big project. I hope that you'll join me. It's gonna be interesting. This table has seen its better days. It is so filthy. It's just worn and weathered. It has yellowed over time and it is going to get a brand new look. This table is actually from a very high end store in Owensboro, Kentucky. It is well made. They made these, these pieces of furniture to last the test of time. And I can't wait to make over this set for a beautiful young family who inherited the table from their mom. They tried a whole bunch of different tables, but you know what? Furniture is not made the same today as it was back then, especially when it's a high-end caliber. So I'm excited to get to work. We're going to be doing a highly distressed, colorful piece. If you have any questions about DIY paint or anything that I've done today, please be sure to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel so very much. I have a goal of getting to 1,500 subscribers by the end of the year. Can you help me? Can you share this video? Can you go ahead and like and subscribe? Day two, I'm starting early. It's like 7.30 in the morning. It's nice and brisk and I need to maximize that time before the sun comes out because yesterday was not an easy day. This table took a lot out of me. Um, I'm totally not anywhere where I wanted to be on day two. I only got two chairs halfway done. Um, I was hurting my back. My I have problems with my hands and just trying to scrape off the the stripper and you know the paint and the varnish so I figured I would start a little bit earlier before the sun comes out and I don't want to complain about the sun because the sun is amazing it was just three days ago four days ago it was below freezing it was like incredibly cold and that's just how Kentucky goes so I want to go ahead and try to do as many chairs as I can today and then the next step will be to start standing. So let's see how much we can do. It was not easy getting these chairs down to bare wood. I now think that it was not latex paint, but enamel paint, the polyurethane, the primer, which I wasn't expecting. I just didn't think about it because I don't really prime my furniture unless it's a bleeder and I use shellac. This stuff was a soupy hot mess. It just would not come off. I tried so many different techniques and it just took forever. Eight chairs, the big table, the leaf, it was a nightmare. And it was literally back breaking. And every time I thought, okay, I've got it done, I would have to go back and take more off.
day three. I wanted to get an early start, but I was hurting. I could not get out of bed this morning. And, um, but I have made some progress. I came out here and I started working on the second chair, sanding it down and the third chair. And I mentioned to my husband that I wanted to buy a Dremel and he's like, we have one. So I was like, why has he been holding out on me? So we ran to Lowe's and I got this little kit because I needed more sanding things. So the Dremel, if you don't know what it is, it's a little handy tool and it's got lots of different attachments. And I like that it has this, um, this extension. And as you can see, I've been using it a good bit and I'm able to get it all in the spindles and all those small little tight places so that I can get it sanded down really well. Typically, I don't sand down paint. I don't like painting furniture that's already been painted, especially when it's been painted with latex paint. This was very uh, durable. It was on there. It wasn't peeling. It wasn't coming off. But in order to give them the look that they wanted with the, as she called it, the dark coming through, the highly distressed finish with the dark wood, it really needed to be stained and not painted so that it can match. Um, some people are matchy matchy, others are not. And I felt like they really needed that consistent stained wood look. So I had to sand it down and it's been a chore. It's been a lot of work. This is major work. It's taking everything out of me, but I know that it's going to look good in the end. So sometimes you just have to do what you don't want to do. I'm so grateful that a couple of times Nathaniel came out and helped me because from just me holding this, the sander and or the sanding sponges, my fingers were hurting and I couldn't even open them. Sometimes my hands were in such pain and all of this fine detail just made it really hard. And I'm glad I have multiple sanders. So we just got to it and it was just multiple layers and I kept having to sand and sand and sand. And I would, like I said, I think I thought it was done. And then I'm like, it's still white <laughs> because of that primer. It was a nightmare. completely different wood than this. Even the legs are different. Then once you sand it all down, then you have to use a fine grit sanding disc so that you can get it nice and smooth. And again, Nathaniel came to the rescue and helped me here. And then he started flexing. He's just so sexy. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, love him. Love him. I'm not sure what day of this is for this project, but I've probably had this project the longest out of everything that I've ever done. This has taken me the longest. It's taken the biggest toll out of me. I've been having a lot of problems with my hands just from all the sanding. Um, my back it's been a nightmare <laughs> like I'm ready for this to be over with um, I finally have it almost all the way sanded one chair still needs a little bit of work I've gotten so many tools my husband had this multi tool we got um, this little kit so that I can get in the crevices I got this little kit um, that comes in, in lows and it comes with little a whole bunch of little sanding sponges just to be able to get into all, all of the crevices. I'm ready for this to be over with and today is finally the day where I'm going to put dark and decrepit bed over everything and then tomorrow start painting. So let's just see how it goes. Oh my lord. As soon as I was about to start sanding the rest of that chair, because my husband was helping me the other day and the last, the bottom half has to get sanded. I didn't realize it was that much sanding still left. I'm so tired of being covered in sand and dust and in my hair. <laughs> anyway, as soon as I was about to get started, there was a loud explosion 
my dog started freaking out, especially Ginger, because she gets terrified with loud noises. And then I started hearing sirens and fire trucks and dogs barking everywhere. And it even smelled a little bit smoky. And then I go to hit start sanding and there's no power. <laughs> Somebody must have hit a transformer. I'm just ready. I'm ready to be done. And I know I'm gonna love it when it's done. I just gotta get there. This is the chair that's different. All of the wood is different on this chair. And so we've got to put some glue, put some glue in there. It's a pretty good crack. see what we can do. I use Type On Quick and Thick. It's my go-to glue. It's white and it dries clear so you never have to see goopy messes, which I can't stand that. I wipe off the excess when I clamp it and then um, I let it just dry overnight. And then of course there's more sanding because every time I go to do something else I realize they're still white and I still have to sand. got four chairs stained and usually while I work on projects I actually pray I pray for the family and I realized that I hadn't and I was extremely frustrated and I had to get my heart right I had to put it all in perspective I know that at the end of the day I knew, I knew back then that I was going to appreciate the hard work and I was going to love the project but I have to take the time to pray for the family. It's a beautiful family. They're so excited. And I need to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do. And sometimes it's not easy, but I have to do the right thing. Just like I had to sand it all down to do the right thing, to make it more of what she wanted. I have to make sure that I do what the Father has called me to do. And that is to pray for people as I am painting and restoring and sanding and doing all of the hard things. So I've got four chairs left. I still have to sand one chair. I did a lot of sanding in between doing the staining. I still have that one chair. And then um, I'm gonna leave the, the repair, the ch chair that needs repair for the last. Cause once that glue dries, I'm gonna go ahead and bondo it and then let that sit and sand it down. And then I can stain it. Um, uh, I'll prime it first in those areas where the bondo is and then I'll stain it. So we're getting there, we're getting there. A couple of the chairs had these random slits, slices. So I took the sand dust out of my orbital sander and I mixed it with a type bond quick and thick. And I just went ahead and I applied it. It's basically free wood filler. Next up, Bondo time. You have to be quick and you have to mix the two ingredients together before it gets hard and apply it to your surface. It gets hard quick. I discovered a second chair had damage. The homeowners didn't realize it. So I had to glue and Bondo it as well. And you here you can see the difference between the dark and decrepit and the natural wood. I'm excited for the end of the sanding. And then I'm going to start painting the chairs and I'm going to do one more coat of dark and decrepit on top of the wood chairs. So let's go ahead and get started. We tightened up all the screws, or at least Nathaniel did, and sanded down all the chairs and the table. Just a light sanding with a 300 grit. 
I tried the steel wool first, but I think I liked the 300 grit a little bit better. Feel good. Finally, I get to paint and I know I'm on the downhill climb. I never would have chose this color, but I believe that this color turned out to be the perfect color for this family. And I'm using my S30 Klingon brush and I'm not worried about getting full coverage because this is a highly distressed piece. And so I paint it very, very sparingly and this way I have minimal to nothing worth of distressing at the very end. And so I have to make sure I cover it really well where that white is showing because that was the primer that I wasn't able to get totally off. Then I take my steel wool after it's been painted and I just slightly go over it. This is a brand new top coat by Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and I was really excited because it came just in time. And so I was like, I've got to try it on this table. It is an acrylic based sealer and it is very, very durable. Two coats and it is amazing. It's liquid, so you wanna make sure you don't have any drips. And you can see the DIY paint just brightens up and becomes so vibrant once it's being sealed. And during this whole process, at some point, because it was breaking my back, I ended up going to Harbor Freight and buying this rolly seat. It was the best thing ever that I've done. And now we're gonna be using the brand new Sweet Pickens top coat called Tongue oil. There's two versions. There's a pure and there's a blend that's blended with citrus. The pure works faster and I was on a time crunch so I used the pure and I used it with my chip brush. All of these products you can find on my website lisaboondesigns.com. You want to go ahead and apply your tongue oil. Same thing as you would with the oil wax. Leave it on there for at least 20 minutes. Tongue oil is a oil that is used in woodworking. It is very, very durable. And once cured, you can use it outdoors. Come back with a lint-free rag. I'm using a cheesecloth, which I also have available on my website, and wiping the excess off. The temperatures got below freezing. I was trying to rush before it got cold so I brought everything inside my living room had to rearrange my house so that I could do a second coat of the sweet pickens top coat over everything except for the that tabletop and we delivered it to the house and I can't wait to show you the reveal with the homeowner I'm so excited. I hope you like it oh you do? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Oh my hey. God. Yes. I love it. <laughs> what do you think? <gasps> we got oh your table back. God. This top turned out beautiful. There's the um, leaf up against your really fridge. Good. Right there. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video. I appreciate your support and your comments and I greatly, greatly appreciate you watching. Thank you and have an incredibly blessed day.